Welcome back to GMBN. Today we're out in the winter woodland. It's a gorgeous morning and what have we got coming up? Well, Isaac, today we've got some great tips on how to get you fitter, faster and a little bit leaner along the way on your mountain bike. Now, it's often said that to lose weight, you need to burn more calories than you take on. That's right. However, it is a little bit more complicated than that with our bodies all working in a balance. It's more complicated than a heating system or a savings account. If you restrict that intake, you can actually end up putting weight on. You slow your metabolism down, you get more tired and slow and get heavier despite fasting. Instead, we recommend maintaining a diet that fuels a healthy and active lifestyle, therefore giving you sort of good habits along the way, should we say. That's it, take on all the right stuff. It's gonna help you get stronger and faster on the bike and that weight can slip away without you even noticing. Try to stay away from processed and super sugary foods as well as excessive alcohol. This really impairs muscle recovery, raises stress levels, which ruin your sleep quality and contributes to, uh, well, that beer gut, should we say. Take on enough protein to support good muscle recovery. Protein takes more energy to digest than carbs too, so it's burning stores even as you eat. Do fuel well with complex carbs, but don't take on too much. Put a real focus on vegetables. They provide a good mix of everything, nutrients, and help you feel full. Eating plenty of fresh fruit will help you replenish glycogen stores and provides plenty of good fiber. Of course, we can't do without a bit of fat too, and natural, unsaturated fats such as you find in avocados, nuts, seeds, fish and olives are the good stuff to aim for. Winter miles, base, unstructured riding. Now, training has evolved from simply just hacking around all winter from November to February at a slow speed, but getting out for those steady pedals is still a really good way to start building fitness. Yep, that's right. And if you do it right, it's going to help you burn energy and also tap into the body's fat burning systems. So these steady aerobic rides, like it wants to be a conversational pace, but yes. you want to keep that going. So continuously pressing on the pedals the whole time, thinking of it as one long interval is what you want to be doing. Yeah, you don't want to be dilly dallying around. You want to keep a good rhythm. So stop and start and all the time, lots of freewheeling or even a really hilly route where you're mm. cruising downhill a lot. You're not really going to see the benefits from it. You keep the intensity under wraps to rely on your slow burn, like fat stores and that ability on the bike. Because if you raise it too much, you're pressing on for too long, you end up burning too much glycogen, depleting all your carbs and running out of energy far too soon. So these long steady aerobic rides are great, but don't forget your anaerobic systems and fast twitch muscle fibers. So putting in some short, sharp sprints during a ride can really help recruit the right muscles and kick your heart rate up. Yep, and the boost that this gives your metabolism can actually last longer than the ride. So you're gonna keep burning fat long into the day. And this can be done a number of ways by short, sharp sprints, sort of efforts, and sprinting in and out of turns. The thing with this is to make sure to keep them short and hard rather than spending your whole endurance ride pressing on harder than you should be. Fueling correctly before and during a ride is gonna help avoid any of those knocks and bonks that you could get where you really run out of energy. And the problem with those knocks and bonks is once you do enter that state, it really ruins any training session and any adaptations that you are going for. And it takes several days longer than normal to replenish your stores and get back up to speed. And it means you throw yourself at a huge meal afterwards, often consuming all sorts of processed sugars, and it's just not good for you. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's been many a ride I've spent sort of dreaming of cake. <laughs> oh, it looks like we've lost Rich. He's away with the fairy cakes. And uh, so what I want to say is, is it is important to take on and refuel correctly what you need during the ride. You don't want to be not replenishing what you've used, not recovering and not getting fitter. But when you do get super bonks, you end up overeating, eating processed stuff, the wrong stuff, and not focusing on replacing the macronutrients that you do need in order to ride fitter the next time. Mixing it up with cross training is a really great way to boost that metabolism and enthusiasm. Running? is a really efficient way of getting the intensity in. <laughs> Running, it gives you that post-runner's high buzz that you don't really ever get from cycling. And it also gives you amazing bone density and functional impact strength that you don't get so much from cycling. So working on that and stuff like indoor rowing machines as well for that cardio in a short, efficient amount of time.
So core cool work and getting to the gym, well, it might not sound as exciting as shredding the nut up, but it does have a genuine benefit to your riding. It really does. That muscular endurance and explosivity is what you want to focus on because you need, you need to be really strong to deal with all the holes, but you need that to last for a whole trail and have the strength and endurance to last to the bottom and also have a strong core to anchor the legs as they power those pedals around. Arrgh. So focus on what exercises you do and how you do them to really push that explosivity. While all of this will help you get fit, you don't want to be thinking about training all the time. Don't forget the rides where you purposely relax and do what you feel like. You could attack the trails and give yourself little challenges to tick off or simply take it easy and just enjoy being outside and just appreciating what it's all about. You know, mountain biking is fun. Taking those deep breaths, get re-motivated and enjoy mountain biking. Reap the rewards of the hard work that you've put in. some great tips to hopefully get you a little leaner, a little lighter maybe, and faster out on the trails. Just remember, all that really matters is getting out and having a great time on your bike, which is what we're going to do. So see you next time. Cheers.